Hi guys and ladies, this weekend I couldn't get out on the ice to fish. It was too thin. I tried fishing from the dock as you'll see, but I wasn't too successful. So although we're stuck in the house, we can still have fun. How about a low carb Asian meal? I found it online and it looks yummy. Thai curry chicken meatballs. I'm gonna make my first cast right here. Too small! The fish caught 31 of my mealworms and I caught only one of them. Hardly enough to justify sitting in the cold for three hours. Uh, let's get started with our chicken curry. Uh, 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 chicken meatball curry. And believe it or not, part of what goes into those meatballs are these. Zucchini. I need about one and three quarters cups of shredded zucchini. I don't know how zucchini goes into meatballs, but that's what the recipe says. At the heart of this recipe is this. I was lucky to find it in the supermarket. It's ground chicken. I suppose you could use ground turkey too. I wish I knew what I were doing, but this looks okay. This is shredding, right? I don't know. I'm supposed to dry this out with paper towels. Oh, jeez, what a mess. So I've got one pound of it here, and let's just get it in the bowl. Now let's add our shredded zucchini. Now I'm supposed to add two tablespoons of fresh chopped cilantro. Next in, one half teaspoon of salt. Now the recipe calls for a couple teaspoons of fresh ginger, minced. Well, I got this from a jar and I think it's easy. This is the piece of resistance. I know my French pronunciation is pretty good. It says toss with a fork until just mixed in. Well, I've got a wooden fork. Let's see how this works. All I'm going to do now is use this little scoop in my hands to make meatballs. I'm putting them on this foil-lined baking sheet, which I sprayed with cooking oil. The recipe is supposed to give you like 24 meatballs. I could barely get 20 out of them. If you like playing in the mud as a kid, you'll love this recipe because it's a gloopy, gloppy mess. But look, we've done it. Now, before we cook our little delinquents, let's get started on a curry sauce. Okay, the recipe calls for a can of coconut milk. Let's get that in to this big bowl. Now it says pumpkin puree. I'm not sure what pumpkin puree is. So I'm gonna use this, it's Libby's Pure. Well, it sounds like puree, 100% pure pumpkin puree, I guess, I don't know. Let's see what happened. Why pumpkin? I don't know anything about Thai recipes, but we'll find out. Now it's the juice of one lime. Next two teaspoons of ground ginger. I'm gonna use the stuff from the jar again. Yeah, I know the recipe says fresh, but we're not making this for the king of Siam. Wasn't that Yule Brenner? Now for more authentic Thai ingredients, a couple tablespoons of Skippy peanut butter. Now, a couple tablespoons of light soy sauce. The recipe calls for two or three tablespoons of Thai sweet chili sauce, but I looked at it in the supermarket. It's loaded with carbs. So here's what I'm going to do. You know, this is supposed to be a low carb recipe. Why would they even recommend it? Here's sriracha sauce. Let's put in some tablespoons of that instead. 
and now a couple drops of sweetener. Now we have sweet chili sauce. Ah, now this really is authentic. Thai kitchen red curry paste. I'm gonna put in a, I don't know, a couple tablespoons. One tablespoon. This stuff smells awesome. Now we're supposed to add in a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. That's a handful. That's about it. Eh, what the heck. I just had a brainstorm. This isn't in the recipe, but how could you have curry without a strong curry flavor? Let's put at least a teaspoon of this curry powder. Yeah. Come out of there. I'm going to thin this out with two thirds cup of water. That's what's called for. How about a little more soy? Come on, a little more of this stuff. This stuff is so good. Come on, be bold. Ooh, ooh, I'm not that bold. It smells so good down here. I'm gonna put this aside and cook those meatballs. All I'm doing now is putting these in the oven for 13 minutes and then we'll heat up our sauce. I'm sure I could just microwave this and it would be fine. But the recipe says to do this in a skillet. So here goes. We're gonna keep it warm. Warm it up, I mean, in a big skillet. Well, they're cooked. They don't look great, but they're cooked. What I've decided to do, just to give these a little bit more color, is to put them under the broiler for like a minute and a half. Let's take them out. Okay, they really look quite nice. Now, I'm just gonna put these in the sauce and cover it all up with sauce. I can barely find the meatballs in all this sauce, but it's looking good. Look what I've got here, savory herb cauliflower rice. I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave as a little side dish. Here's, I don't know, a number of tablespoons of cilantro. Here I have cumin, about a half teaspoon, maybe a little more. Oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing. The juice of a half lime. That's it. For you cilantro haters, you could use parsley. Of course, you might think this resembles Mexican white rice. Who cares? It tastes good. Before I set the table, I should tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to join me here for dinner tonight, and I, I'm thrilled. <laughs> But you ought to know that uh, all is not paradise here. You see, I I've been trying to win her hand in marriage now for decades, and I don't know the reason for her reluctance, but maybe she feels that marriage is too confining. Uh, maybe I should stress the freedom that she would have if she were to marry me. Here we are tonight with our special celebrity guest, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and thank you so much for joining me tonight at my mini mousy mobile home. And you had a chance to um, eagerly gobble up my uh, Thai curry chicken meatballs with sauce and low carb fake rice, and I'd like to know what you thought of it all. Oh, it was all very good. I re I thought the meatballs came out beautifully. They were, they were tender and and flavorful, and um and the sauce was excellent. You know, I love Thai food anyway, so it was really it was good. Very I, good. I yes. was happy with Thank those you. meatballs. Yes. You know, Miss Cheeks. Oh, oh by now I I can say uh, Lulu. Uh, yes. You know, our good friends Herb and Ruth. Uh, they've been married for. 50 years, oh. yet Herb told me they give each other plenty of freedom. Uh, she told him she needs more space. Yes, and Herb said no problem and locked her out of the house. Huh? Oh, mm. I, I didn't know that part. Uh, <laughs> can I have a hug? Thai kitchen red curry paste. Now what do I do?